I'm Dave Mercer. And I'm Matt Pangrak. And welcome to The Call, a weekly sport fishing debate show where we talk about hot topics in the fishing industry. This week, Panger, we're going nets, cull them or keep them in pro-level tournaments. Well, this is one that's been talked about for a long, long time, Dave, because the FLW Tour allowed nets. The Bassmaster Elite Series has never allowed nets. And I'll tell you what, We've seen instances on camera where both have gotten into quite the pickle, trying to reach with one hand and net the fish, trying to capture the fish at the side of the boat. This is an interesting one because there is skill and strategy involved here between the guys who are used to netting them, the guys who are used to landing them without a net. So I'm interested to see what your take is on this. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. My, my take is... No nets. I mean, we can't have nets in pro tournaments. I get it. You use a net when you go fun fishing. I get it. You you can use a little wicker basket when you go to trout stream if you want. But at professional level tournaments, I do not agree with nets. It is another level of competitive skill that you have to master. So much so that if you ask pros when they came over traditionally, when we had the guys coming from the FLW tour to bass, and you ask them after a year or two, what was the biggest thing you had to adjust to? They almost all said landing a fish without a net. And the reason I think that it's so important to have that, not only does it show the skill, but it also gives you the most important thing in every single sport. And that is a moment of doubt, whether it be basketball, whether it be baseball, whether it be football, whether it be curling or golf, it doesn't matter. That moment of doubt, will the ball go in? Will he catch the ball? Will he hit the ball? Will he land that fish? That split second, that moment of doubt is what makes you fall in love with Bassmaster tournaments. I mean, the ability between it, take a St. Lawrence River tournament. You, you know, a small milk derby in that, you get that fish moving. It becomes a, you scoop the fish. It's one foul. There's no moment of doubt. I mean, you basically get the fish coming towards you and you scoop that fish and it's done. I believe that you should definitely not use nets because it adds that moment of doubt. It adds that passion and excitement and it also adds a different skill level to win a tournament. It's not just about hooking a fish and dragging it to your net. You have to actually fight the fish to the point that you can grab it. I'm going to play devil's advocate here for a minute, though. Do you okay. not remember the, the FLW tournaments where you've got a guy with his line wrapped around a net? He's got too much line out. The fish is flopping under the boat. He's got his rod in one hand, the net in the other. He looks like he's chasing butterflies out there. It's a total cluster. Those are exciting. But then I'm going to swing back around and agree with you because once that fish hits the net, it's all over. You don't know how big it is. You don't, it, it, there's just not that excitement. If I remember correctly, I do believe that that is one of the reasons why Ray Scott did not allow nets was for the excitement of the hand to hand combat, the battle of trying to land that fish boat side. Now, naysayers were saying, well, you both flip a fish, it hits the carpet, it, it, it loses its slime coat. Well, what do you do after you get a fish in the net? You flop it on the ground. So now it's losing its slime coat anyway. Plus a lot of fish, you're lifting them, you're handling them. There's also a distinct skill in this. You mentioned the St. Lawrence River, the smallies. You talk to three or four different guys who are up north and you'll find that there's a key skill, a key way they grab those smallies, certain way you can belly the fish, you can trap the fish. Same guy with the, same thing with the largemouth. You watch the guys on treble hook lures. There's a skill. Can you get an extra hook in that fish's mouth instead of dragging them into the net? Get them hooked more. I think there's a reason why some guys always have a big fish story and some guys don't. And that's because there is a skill in landing a fish without a net. When I started fishing the Bassmaster Opens, I knew I wouldn't be able to use a net. Guess what I did? Got the net out of the boat, Dave, because I knew that I had to learn when my adrenaline's pumping, when that money's on the line and the check is on the line, I want to go down there and know that I have a game plan and a strategy to land the fish, and it's not just straight up scoop and score. I totally agree. We agree. And, and I get it, what you said, Panger. Like, we're going to get hammered by people who right away hear the word net, and they say, oh, it's better for the fish. Remember, we're all fishing, number one. Mm -hmm. We are all actively fishing. Number two, on top of that, I honestly think that the person that abuses a fish, that you think abuses a fish, by either pumping that fish or doing whatever, they're going to do the exact same thing with a net. You know what I mean? Like if an angler grabs a fish and just throws it down at the bottom of the boat, they're going to throw said net down the bottom of the boat. So I don't think it stops any of that. And it just adds so, so much drama. I agree. Plus, 
just the cinematic beauty of the fish jumping at the side. I mean, the iconic one that is used now, take it back to Keith Combs, Falcon Lake with the big worm in his mouth. He's sitting there and he's got a 10 pounder just beautifully jumping right. Guess what? That doesn't happen with a net, Dave. No, it doesn't. Nets, nets at the top level. I'm calling it. I agree. We're both calling it. A net at the top level is no different than a golf cart in the Masters. It's bumpers in bowling. Bumpers in bowling. Now you've gone a step too far. Bumpers or golf carts, whatever it is, let us know what you think. Keep our call nets in professional tournaments.